Yeah, the name is Stan Schaff, and uh, I'm one of the innovators of Audium, along with my partner, Doug McEachern. Uh, Doug and I explored the idea of space and sound and how space affects sound and the possibilities of controlling that element. The audio movement and, and the control of it have been the heartbeat of our evolution over decades. What does it mean when you move sound? How does it affect perception? How does it affect awareness? But primarily as a composer, how does it affect, in a both musical and aesthetic sense, the mind? Audium is a space where we try to take people into a different world, world of sound. Uh, there's 176 speakers, and we're moving the sounds up, down, around, all over the place, and hopefully moving you as well in different ways. We kind of look at Audium as being a place to take you out of your normal, everyday life. We're creating a surreal landscape where everything maybe is a bit bigger than life. I Am Eleven is kind of a new thing for us. Uh, my dad and I, on the last composition, Audium 10, was the first time that we'd actually collaborated and, and created um, a composition uh, where it was the two of us working together. And this time we're adding another element into the mix. We have Brian Elizabeth Reed. She's a local artist and friend and she's kind of adding her work and her flavor to the lobby with different sculptures and visual elements. And I'm adding sound and projections in the lobby. So it's kind of a collaboration of visual and sound. And so we're kind of excited about it because we see it as the future of Audium is to have a lot more collaboration and kind of more artists and musicians coming into the fold and creating their own works in here. For the Audium exhibition, I'm making a series of 30 ink drawings, all abstract drawings made with black India ink. I'm making hanging paper pods made from abaca paper with the help of a lot of supporters. Um, and there's going to be speaker exciters inside so the pods will make sounds. Then I'm making two hanging, also from handmade paper, kind of 2D, 3D hanging sculptural works. And then I think there will be several abstract drawings as well, large abstract drawings. For me, Audium is a series of experiences. So there's the experience of entering the first space and walking through and, and waiting for the show to start and kind of looking around and experiencing one environment very visually. And then um, walking through kind of another portal and experiencing darkness and sound moving around you. Audium 11 to me is uh, kind of looking towards the future of what Audium could be. And I've always sort of seen Audium as a blank canvas for not just myself and my dad, but for other people to get involved with and kind of see how, what they can add to what this place is. In a way, Dave is moving into directions that I think uh, I, I could never have uh, thought might be possible. I certainly was conceiving the idea that um, Audium represents not a kind of embryonic idea of a space for new thought in, in music or sound art. And, uh, and I think other composers are gonna find that when they get their hands in here and where Dave seems to be wanting to go is to try out all kinds of possibilities. I'm in the hopes that uh, all will fit well as we're kind of emerged in this idea, some of which still remain to be dealt with, but that's the creative process. We never know quite where we're gonna end up at. <laughs>